it's been in the news. I mean, it's kind of the elephant in the room. We really need to talk about it because everyone's talking about this at the moment and I don't want to put you on the spot, but... Oh, I never know where you're going to go with it. How did you really feel when I got the MBE? <laughs> <laughs> how sick were you? I, listen, it's... It, do you know what was good to me is it's obviously important to you that you get these kind of things. When they offered it to me, I said, I don't need that. I'm solid and comfortable with myself. So I said, thank you very much. Give it to Ross. And, and they did. And I'm, I'm happy. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's amazing. It's, no, it's fantastic. I just can't believe it, really. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm very pr- no, honestly, I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Because you. you're my buddy. Say as a kid, you know, to me, one of my favorite movies as a kid was French Connection, you know, and Gene Hackman. And, and this, this character has a lot of that in it. It's like an homage to Heat, but it's a grittier version. It has elements of the town, big training day, you know, color. And, and then usual suspects all over it too, because it's really full of twists and turns. And you never know which way it's going to go right up until the end. You know, it's very kind of cleverly crafted. But yeah, it's, it's, I've always wanted to make a movie like this. And, very happy I got to do it with a lot of my friends. The good thing is as well, you get you're, just, you're not even listening. You're just waiting to make a joke. He's, got, he's smiling, but he's like this. How am I going to crucify him on the next line? You're so that- distracting, <laughs> aren't you? No, I'm, what I'm going to say is, because you also get to say the line. And I love it when you say the line. Well, you're not the best. Well, yes. <laughs> we are. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, is, it, it, is, it is a great line. That's kind of one of the beautiful things about this this character was he is kind of the bad guy. Mm. I mean, he's the hero. He's the good guy. Mm. I am trying to bring down the bad guys, but a lot of times you look at me and you go, this guy's a criminal. You know, he's, the, the, you never know which way he's going to go. I think sometimes he doesn't know which way he's going to go. But when he says that, you go, right, I, I, I believe that. Mm. I believe that because this guy, he's a, he's a silverback gorilla and, <laughs> and he, he is, you know, it's like these warriors stepping onto the battlefield and yet, one element is, you know, they're an elite crew of the LA Sheriff's Department, but they kind of operate with relative impunity. You know, we have our own tattoos, our own, you know, <laughs> call signs, and we're up against this very sophisticated, dangerous group of, of criminals. And it's, it's putting us to the test like we've never been put to before, but that's what we're about, you know? It's about bringing out the, the, highest, the highest level, you know, and, and really that, where it's about the thing itself. Like, I don't think these guys really care about the money. They're all ex-military, and it's about the mission, mm. and it's about being the best and, and, and about winning, yeah. you know? And, and you really get into that, their lives and how they, they make It's almost like this, this symbiotic relationship between our two gangs as we head towards this showdown. And really, when you get to the showdown, it's like, <laughs> it's on. You got 50 Cent in there, or Fiddy. Or what, Fiddy. Do you, what do you call him? Do you call him Fiddy? Curtis? What do you call him? Um, John, I think, um, which he doesn't like. No, I, I call him, um, I, I, I <laughs> come, Fiddy, 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 Fiddy. Fiddy. No, Yuffie. 50, 50, yeah. 50, or Curtis, I've called him, I've called him both. Um, and, uh, no, he's actually, he doesn't, he's a great dude. He's a very, he's a, he's a very funny guy. Um, and he's been really fun to work with, you mm-hmm. know. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's a tough dude, but. He's really, he's actually a very sweet nature. You know, he plays like the big man, but he's really not, he's very humble. Um, but uh, yeah, enough about 50, let's get back to me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I, do I like, hate talking about other people. I, I know that. No, I, but it's, it's a nightmare. Totally, it's understandable. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. if I were you, I'd only want to talk about me as well. <laughs> <laughs> let's get back to Ross King, MBE. <laughs> that I like. No. Suits, so, so I want to talk about the motorcycle accident. Yeah. Just talk, talk me through it. I mean. It was a bad one. Did you, at a point, think this is it? Um, I did think that actually because I was going quite fast. I mean, I, I don't. When I say quite fast, if you hit a car, you know, you're doing anywhere more than seven miles an hour, and it's quite fast. And I was doing probably about thirty-five miles an hour, so I knew that I was going far, and um, and I, w- I seemed to be in the air for a long time. And it does, you know, and it probably was it felt even longer than it was but it does go through your head oh my god if i don't land the right way i'm a dead man or i'm 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 waking up paralyzed and it's not it's not a very nice feeling and it does really happen in slow motion like even as i came towards the car it was like wow this is happening um so yeah no i i I did think that and the bum thing is that when i hit the ground and i and i jumped up i knew straight away 
okay, I'm, I'm alive, but it was like, oh, this is bad. Like, my, my feet were all ripped, you know, and the soles were off, and my the pants had all been ripped off, and the blood was pouring down my legs, and I was like, okay. It, and I knew I was supposed to start this movie coming up, and I'm like, okay, this is probably not going to happen. <laughs> Did, does it it's you... sad that you think like that. You yeah. know, it's like, oh, okay, well, that movie. movie's off for a bit. Yeah. But <laughs> does, it, does it make you reevaluate life, though? Yes, well? it does. Um, it does because of the motorcycle accident, but also because of what I do for a living. You know, I do do very intense roles, and whether it's put like this, Den of Thieves, I put on 25 pounds. And that that takes a lot out of your body. 25 pounds doesn't sound like sound like much, but when you put that on and then you lose it and you put it on, and it's now six times that I've done that, putting on that amount. And every time it kind of does you in, because you're also working 12, 14 hours a day, you always pick up injuries. And I already had injuries from Dan, and then Keepers, where it was all on the side of a mountain, and then come and have this motorcycle crash. And then after that, it's a struggle because I already had another movie on it you got to do. And then you start to go, you know, I need to think about other things. <laughs> like, I actually want to take some time off now because I have a bunch of movies coming out. And I, I want to be able to wake up in the morning and not have the stress of knowing, oh, this is coming up mm. and I've got to get ready for that, you know? And you get out of bed and you go, okay, how's, oh, oh, how's this? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, but um, go, and, go and adventure, you know, mm. but in a healthier way. <laughs> <laughs> on, on the lighter side of things, if there is a lighter side to a motorcycle accident, the moment when you tumbled, then you steadied yourself, got up. So the person who was involved in the crash, you have to take the helmet off. I know. That's a very good point. I, I, I did think that, yeah, because I knew that I'd taken a big tumble when I looked back at my bike and I saw where the car was and how far away it was. And by this point, there were also a bunch of people on the side of the road. And I'm like, okay, you're going to get a shock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And, uh, and actually, I felt, you know, when the ambulance came, I felt really bad for that woman because she was standing over to the side and there was a crowd of people around me and... and uh, and I knew she, it was a, I mean, now I'm a little more angry because it was really stupid to just turn and try and do a U-turn in front of me. But at the time I felt really bad for her. So before they took me in the ambulance, I stumbled over my feet. I had my shoes off at this point because my feet were all swollen up. But I went over to her and I said, come here. And I gave her a hug and I said, you made a mistake, but nobody deserves that. Well, you know, I mean, I've made mistakes yeah. my, myself too, but. Um, and she said, I just knocked down Jerry Butler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She goes, I didn't realize how lucky I was going to get today. I mean, I thought maybe I'll. Can I have a selfie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she'd said that. Oh, oh my wow. God.